So in case you're new and you just accidentally stumbled on my channel, you know that I, I share a lot of my dreams and my visions that God uh, has given me over the years. Uh, some recent and some as far back as 2000 and between 2005 and 2007, that's when they really started to take off. Uh, so, and I'm very horrible in my videos of describing what I see perfectly. So what I did was try to get on the internet and find you guys pictures as close as to what I saw. And then hopefully give you some context of, 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 of if it doesn't look identical to what I saw. Okay. So the first one is these green lizard reptilian things. One day, um, the Lord gave me a vision and he said, these things live deep within the mines of the earth. And this is what he showed me. It was these green lizardy muscle, very big muscly type beings. And they live deep down underground. And this is the way their body is. But except this one, this one is 10 times smaller uh, than the one that I saw in my, in, in the vision. The one that I saw in the vision, the detail to his chest was very, very big. Like a, like a, a big man that body builds. So he had the, the chest parts was very detailed. Um, very, very detailed. And then the arms was massive. Like, you know how the men work out and they have the big bucks on their arms where the, where the shoulder, the neck and the shoulder blade meets and it makes the big circle on the arm. It was like that. And the biceps was super huge. And this thing was massive. Now, this one looks a little bit different from what I saw because with the eyes, where as you can see, this one has human eyes. The one that I saw did not have human eyes. They was reptilian like a snake or like a lizard. The eyes, and they was completely yellow. But this one, this one has the tail. The one that God showed me, um, I can see it from the backside and the chest, uh, it on the, from the neck, from the back of the neck where the neck starts, it was these little spikes like a dinosaur would have. And they went all the way down the back and all the way down to the end of the tail. These things are very, very strong, very, very strong. And the Lord told me, he said, I did not make all life on the earth. You know, he did not blow the breath of life into these things. You know, when the Nephilim came down or the Nephilim angels came down and made it with women, they began to make these things. And God said, I did not create all life on this earth. And that was explains why God was telling them in the Bible, do not um, go out and mix outside of your kind. Because in that time, in those days, it said the Nephilim was on the earth and they walked among the children of men and the fallen angels walked among the children of men. And that's what God was telling them. Stay within your own people, because if you go down and mix with these things or and not just these that look like monsters, it's some that look very beautiful, like what they're telling you are the store people, the the gal galax, gal the Palladians and stuff like that. Some of them was very beautiful. But the Lord was saying, if you go down and mix with these things, they're going to turn your heart away from me because these things are enemies against God and they have they are them they they are them own self gods they worship themselves and they worship a pantheon of fallen angels who came down to earth and made themselves the deities as we know that's in our greek mythologies and all of our mythologies these fallen angels set up these pantheons on the earth and men begin to worship them so this thing, the Lord said, definitely lives in the earth right now as we speak deep in the, like the abandoned mine shafts of the earth. Uh, I, you, you can see that, that, that I don't think that's something that you could just fight. You're going to have to shoot it. And then they skin is so tough. You will have to use something, something really powerful to probably try to take it out. Um, this one, this was the next picture that I wanted to show you. Because these things come in a different variety, but I really wanted to focus on that tail. Now imagine that tail with dinosaur spikes all the way down to the tip. You know how we have a spine? Those things going from the back of his neck down his tail was kind of like, like a spine, but like a stagosaurus. I don't know what dinosaur had those little things on the back of his back. Those little spikes, but that was that. Was that. That was this thing right here, and 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 I believe the Lord. These are deep in the mines of the earth. Uh, they live on deep underground. Okay, the next picture. Uh oh, is let me see if I can take that away. Uh oh, hold on. Let me cancel that. Let me move this. Sorry. 
Okay, so the next picture, this is exactly what Jesus looked like. I mean, 2DT. His beard is very thick, very thick on his face. It's not long or anything like that. It goes up around his jawline, as you can see, high on his jaw. Uh, I think the one when I saw him a little, a little bit higher than that on his jaw, and his eyebrows were super thick, just like this. And his hair was thick, and it sits off his head. And he had, um, in the vision, he had a a shawl thing like the like that had a hood that goes over his head, but his hairline. And the hair that was immediately framing his face, I saw that it was thick and it was sitting off his head just like this. I told you uh, that he's not black like me and he's not white, white. His skin was peach and this is perfect. This is exactly what I saw. I've seen him now t two times um, in my dreams and in my visions. And so this is what he looks like. I was not able to see the detail of the clarity of his eyes or the structure of his nose. That part was uh, blotted out for me. For some reason, God chose not to let me see his face clearly in great detail, but the rest was in focus, like the beard and the hair and the eyebrows and the skin and all of that stuff, even the robe. Um, I've never even seen a picture of a robe. I tried to Google the robe, like what I saw, how it was pleated and folded across his chest, I didn't see nothing remotely similar. So, unfortunately, this is the best that I was able to get for you. This is the Temple of Solomon that I saw. I didn't, I wasn't able to see it in great detail, like as you can see right here. There was a large focus on this part, the top part. And um, the one that I saw didn't have the spikes on the top like that. It was kind of, you know how a castle goes up and then it dips down and then it goes back up? A lot like these, these things right there. But it was all gold. I mean, the gold was the brightest gold you ever did see. It was so shiny that the, I'm sorry, I keep doing that on accident. It was so shiny that the sun was uh, hidden off of it like a, a mirror, like a reflection of a mirror. It was so, so much gold. I remember just being taken by it that my eyes never even scanned down to the doorways or the archways or anything like that. I was just stuck on that because my brain was thinking, if something like this existed in the earth, wouldn't men rob it? Would they try to destroyed and you know they did destroy the temple several times but back then um if you read the bible it will tell you the people gave their gold and their earrings and all of that stuff like that and they gave and they gave to the temple of solomon and so it does have gold on it um and so this is a little bit of a rough draft of what i saw kind of sorta this is the closest picture that i could find you that resembles what god showed me when he moved the veil and he allowed me to see the temple. And the temple was behind the veil. So I don't believe that the Lord was showing me the third temple. Um, as you can see also, I know the other thing I want to point out. You see how that this temple has that line in it where, the, where they added another brick. The one in heaven has no lines. And you see how this one has like a beigey overtone to the rock the one in heaven has not no beiginess it was a pristine solid white it was completely smooth and i saw no lines in it at all so it was like a seamless piece of rock um cut out to make the temple all right also and uh, this is the temple of solomon uh as you can see right there all right the next thing that i saw in a vision was the cigar spaceships remember i told you um, that they had windows like an airplane. This was the closest one that I could get, although this was not the one that I actually saw. The one that I actually saw, I did stumble upon it on a, um, by chance after the Lord showed it to me in a dream, then somehow I just miraculously saw the exact same one on the internet all those years back, about 2007, but I could not find it for the life of me. So this was the closest one that I came to. This was a cigar, um, like space, a cylindrical spaceship. And I only saw it one time in my dream. It was not a reoccurring one that I saw. This was the mothership thing. And if you're watching these pictures, you're going to have to scroll back through my videos of where I talk about different things that God showed me, different visions of the Temple of Solomon, what Jesus looked like, blah, blah, blah. You will see um, this video will make a little more sense to you. This is just for the people that have 
faithfully watch the videos and they understand what I'm talking about. So this was the vision that I, this was the reoccurring dream. Now this dream, I had this dream maybe three or four times back to back to back throughout the years. It was a nice clear day just like this. It was in the city just like this. And people was coming out from, people literally got out of their cars on the freeways and in the streets of the city. I specifically remember a McDonald's in the background apartment complex because I was standing in an apartment complex. Uh, I'm sorry, every time I try to keep the picture from going black, it puts that up there. Okay, so I myself was standing in an apartment complex when I could see people on the freeways that or the main streets, they was all getting out of their cars. Everybody was just pointing up and looking at this thing. But me, I... I knew to run. In the dream, I'm always running. I'm not standing there fascinated like everybody else who is just standing there pointing, looking up. You know that we live in a, a, a go viral type of generation where everybody is trying to get the best picture. Everybody's trying to do the best video to go viral. So you're going to have some dumb people that's going to marvel at these things that's going to come from the sky. But these things are not your friend. And so... In the dream, I did not stick, stick around to see what came out of it. <laughs> I just ran, and I'm always running in my dream. All right, this next one uh, was one that I had was a recurring dream. Well, this one was shaped like the traditional um, flying saucers that we have been trying to see, like the little silver ones, top and bottom look like two plates on top of each other. Those was the ones that were shooting the buildings and shooting the people with a blue beam of light that come that's, that, that looks just like this. Okay. So it was very, very much identical to this right here, a blue beam and they begin, but what I want to say is it wasn't this thick. It was like a laser light. Like on Star Wars, I'm so sorry, I'm, I apologize. It was like a like a blue uh, laser light, it was like a weapon. So it wasn't like this thick of a light, it was just like a, a point weapon. And they began to drop the buildings and they began to shoot the people that was just standing there. I do believe people are going to try to to be these things friends and they're going to try to approach them and do dumb things and I do believe for a point that these things are going to seem friendly to try to gain the trust of people but they are going to turn on you uh my dream showed that over and over again they are definitely going to turn against humanity the next thing that I saw in my dreams was the soldiers are coming and I told you guys then, these are super soldiers. They was not normal. Um, as you can see, Russia is already trying to do super soldiers. Also, China is trying to do super soldiers. And even the U.S. is doing super soldiers. As you can see, remember in the dream that I had with the Antichrist, I told you that everything was lined up back behind the curtain. It was the man, the Antichrist, the Mark, the AI, and uh, the Mark, and then the AI. So, this stuff is already set. You guys are thinking, oh, it's going to take them time. Not in our lifetime. No, this stuff is already ready to go. So, the super soldiers, I saw that the preppers and the men that think, oh, I'm going to shoot them if they come onto my land. And I'm just going to gun anybody down. Well, you can't. And you're looking at this and thinking, oh, well, these look like regular people. But these are not regular people they may have a body like a regular person but they are not the one that i saw in my vision was just like this but he lifted the man up off and the man was a big man he lifted him up off his feet by his neck and the man was beating this thing profusely in his head and it was taking so much damage but yet it was not flinching like it never even felt it these things can move with the speed of matrix and these things can see with their natural eyes in the dark as if a cat. I saw that they was hunting us down. And they, their eyes, they can see in the dark. They can smell like an animal. And they can move very fast. Very, very fast. So, as you can see, this is a real thing. And this was just done like 11 months ago. Like 11 months ago. And, it was, and if you could read the article, you will see... Putin is talking about this, blah, 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 blah. 
So yeah, these things, we thinking, oh, we're not the fig tree generation. This won't happen in my time. But I assure you, I believe that this will, these things will begin to take place in our time. The next one is the soldiers. I keep telling everybody, the soldiers is coming. The soldiers is coming. I picked this picture because this is what I remember the most, that they was dressed in some type of attire uh, that was similar to this. But what stood out to me is their eyes. They look dead with no emotions in them. And that's how these things are going to be. When the soldiers come and they come for us, these have no emotion. I saw a whole family lined up. It was about six uh, in this family. And they started with the smallest child and shot it in the head. And they went to the next and the next and the next and the next and the next. And they were just shooting without even thinking. And they got to the last man of the family. And I don't know if they wanted this man to renounce God or something. But they was asking him to do something. Uh, unless they will shoot him as well. And so I know that these soldiers are going to use these extreme fear tactics of killing and killing in the public to, to induce fear so that you will do whatever they tell you to do. I saw in my dream, it was just like the diary of Anne Frank. People are going to go into hiding and they're going to come. They're going to be in your homes. They're going to be in your streets. They was all over the place. You're thinking, oh, well, I live in this kind of community. I live in that kind of community. I don't care what kind of community you live in. These things are coming. And I do call them things because they're not normal soldiers like your son went off to the war. These things, is something wrong with them. I don't want to say that their DNA is mixed with whatever, whatever, but they're just not altogether human. And as you can see that, look at the eyes. I, I hate that it's not getting a good close up, but maybe you could Google this picture. If you type in the, the JPEG image and you can see it closely, but you could just see the eyes is not normal. They are void of any emotion. They will kill you. They will not think twice about killing you. Um, so then after that, I saw the roadblocks. When we begin to run, there's going to be a divide of the people. There's going to be those who are green lights and there's going to be those that are red lights. When these soldiers come, I saw that us, people like me, begin to run and that we could not take the streets. You're not going to be able to hop the state lines. You're not going to be able to take the main roadways because the main roadways were blocked off with this roadblock. And as you can see, this is a... Oh, let me see. I'm sorry about that. I guess I zoomed in, but it's telling you that this is... Oh, there I go at the bottom. A white plastic road box stands on a concrete road. The ones that I saw in my dream was not plastic. They were cement. And it was one on each side, one on the left and one on the right. And it was just enough space for one car to drive through. And it was men, soldiers with the biggest guns you ever did see. They was pulling people over at this roadblock asking, had you had the, the shot? You know what I'm talking about. Have you had the shot? If you said yes, you had the shot, you was allowed to drive through the roadblock. If you say no, you have not had the shot, there was a place where you could pull over to the side. And this is what I saw. As I was... Oh, I'm so sorry. I, it's going to keep doing that as I go to turn the picture. Okay, so when um, they pull your car over, if you say you have not had the, the shot, they pull your car over. Off to the side of a road, there was a white bus like this waiting in a little cul-de-sac. And I remember I was hiding in trees, so it was lots of trees, and I was watching this. They pulled the entire family out of their cars and loaded the people onto this bus, and they was not coming back. I'm telling you, there's going to be a strong enforcement for those who don't have the V. We're going to be hunted down like animals in deer season. And the Lord showed me this over and over. And I believe that I'm here for the end times to help because he kept showing me as it's, it's, it's almost like my dreams was like training, training videos. And I just kept watching it and watching this. You know how you watch a movie so much, you know it by heart. That's how I believe the Lord gives us these reoccurring dreams, because these are things that we're going to have to take an active part in um, to assist. And so you already know what to do. It's like a play and you're acting out your part. And I believe that's why the Lord began to show me this. 
okay? The next thing that I saw was these robots. Remember I said that these things was like the movie iRobot? Well, that's what I saw. They was lined up shoulder to shoulder to shoulder, just like this. And it was so, so many of them. And I remember in the dream, okay, so this is back into a reference of the man, the Antichrist, the mark, and then AI comes after the mark. Okay, so as you can see, it is, these things filled up an entire warehouse as far as the eye can see. And in the dream, I remember I said, what woke me up is when I yell, then what are we waiting for? Like, if everything is ready to go, if the man is already in place, if the Antichrist is already in place, if the mark is already in place, AI is already in place, all these things that are, are set to come, what are we waiting for? I was asking the Lord, why are we still here? Like, what are we waiting for? But I yelled that so loud. Loudly, uh, it woke me up. Now, this is what I saw in my dream, and this is reality. This, we've all seen this. They have these all over YouTube. This thing blinks. It makes facial expressions. Uh, and, you know, they are coming up with the thing where they offer people X amount of money if you will sell our rights to your face. Sell the rights to your face for these things. Um, and they will pay you, you have to sign over your rights and then they will pay you a large amount of money. So this was my dream and this is reality. As I said, I'm so sorry. I'm going to go back to that. Let me just go. I'm going I'm to have to try to push it softly. So this is my dream. Rooms and rooms and rooms of these things are already ready to go. This is reality. These things are ready, just like the Lord showed me. Everything is ready to go. This is reality. This is already ready to go. All right. The next thing I saw was a reoccurring dream of us being invaded. America is going to be invaded and it's going to be without warning. We will, we will not get a situation like what Ukraine got where everything was posted onto the, everything was posted onto the news. And, and so we had an army to come and defend us. No, we're going to be laying in our beds. We're going to be free people one day. And then out of the blue, we're going to be out and about. I don't know if I was at a fair setting or some type of uh, outdoor setting, but but in the dream, I'm always outside. It's always a nice sky, just like this in the picture. When suddenly we look up and we see the sky is just like this. In the dream, the sky is covered with these things. And everybody is so jaw-dropping. Everybody is standing there and they're pointing up again. We are pointing up. Oh, oh sorry about that. We are pointing up. Like I said, we... Apologize. We live in a... Uh, we live in a time where everybody wants to go viral. Hold on, guys. I got to do my phone and plug it in so I don't die. So like I said, we live in a time where everybody wants to go viral. Everybody's trying to get the best internet picture, blah, blah, blah. So again, people was pointing up. No one was trying to run. Even I myself was in shock in this dream, just seeing the, the sky full of these planes like this. And as we was looking up, without warning, these things stopped flying. It looks almost as if they were just hovering in the sky and not moving. Like they was almost like defying gravity. And then with no warning, they began to drop bums on us. And they was killing us in different ways to where around our feet, the ground was exploding on some. I re distinctively remember seeing something that looked like a green gas. Some of these things were shooting some type of green gas, some type of some aerosol. And the other one was shooting uh, bullets. And they was just gunning down the people. So... America will be invaded. I know a lot of people say that America is Babylon. I don't know that. God have not said it to me, but that just because he ain't said it to me, don't make it not be true. I do believe we are going to be invaded because the Lord have been showing this to me since the, the early 2000s is when a lot of my dreams kicked in. Uh, no, well, these dreams started for me about my early 20s when I began to have visions and dreams and open visions and things like that and the dreams so, yeah, I do believe we will get invaded. All right, let's go to the next one. I'm going to try to do this and not mess it up. All right, this is what, I don't know if it's called wormwood. I don't know if this is what they're going to call Apophis. I don't know, but I know the Bible calls it the day of the Lord. Because this is what I saw. Remember I told you it looked like a large black charcoal? Mm, but it was it was had black spots and then it was red spots. 
but it was the size of the sun. It was the size of a planet and it was symmetrical. It was perfectly round like a block of cheese. It had no, no messed up spaces in it and this thing began to fill the sky it was falling and it was falling fast um and i ran uh oh and i ran and tried to i don't know why it's changing i ran and i tried to hide uh under the stairs so that the stairs can fall on me and kill me you have to go back and watch the video and it'll give you a little bit more detail about that so i did not want to die by this thing and then when i woke up out of that dream i remember the lord saying and the rich man ran that they ran to the mountain and the trees say follow me follow me you know to save me from the wrath of god and you know so i believe that that's what the lord was showing me that this thing is really going to come and it's really going to happen Okay, this is the map. This is a map. The map of those who take the mark or the V. Uh, on this map that I saw in my dream when the soldiers came, the people who take it is the green dots. The people who receive the mark is the green dots. And the red dots is the people that did not. And I saw that this covered all of us and the soldiers began to hunt down all the red dot people i'm going to tell you this because i i believe this with my whole soul family members will not be able to hide with each other if a red dot family member tries to hide with a green dot family member because the green dot is chipped there's a chip inside of them they're going to show up on the map just like this, and the soldiers are going to come to you. You will not be able to hide together. I saw in my dream that the green dot people was betraying the red dot people. So your family members will turn on you. And, and even the Bible says mother will be against mother, son against son, blah, blah, blah. I saw a lot of the green dots was turning on people too as well. The red dot people, we was hunted down with the highest, the highest, most advanced technology. And so this is exactly what I saw in my dreams. I just want to scan it some more so that you can see the gist of it. I remember a movie came out, something like that, and where the people was chipped like that. And they, they did glow green. And um, they had to go and just take out each other. And if they tried to deter from that task, the chip that was in them would let their controllers blow them up and kill them or whatever like that. So, again, those who take the mark and those that take the V, I believe, will be the green dot people that the Lord showed me in the end times. You won't be able to go into hiding. You won't be able to cut it out of you. The thing that's in the... V is nanoparticles and these things grow within you and it becomes one of you. So your body does not think it as a foreign object and try to reject it. It becomes a part of you. So this is exactly what I saw and this is exactly how they're going to hunt us down. And they're going to know who is who because all the chip people, you, I'm sorry, but they will be Wi-Fi compatible. You on every cell tower is going to pick them up. You, they will not be able to go into hiding. And I just want to repeat that. You will not be able to go into hiding. Red dot people, if your son is the red dot and your baby is a red dot there are, and you are green dot and your husband is a green dot, you know, y'all won't be able to hide together because in your kids loving you and trying to be with you and y'all going to ride this thing out to the end, uh, the soldiers will come and your your red dot people will be killed. Also, the green dot people, um, I saw that they would have remorse that they were green dots, but it was nothing that they could do. It was a done deal. You can't you can't take it out. So that's that was that. The next thing that I saw was these black helicopters. These black helicopters in my dream, I had this dream, I want to say, uh, maybe three or four times. I don't know why the Lord seems to do it three, three times. I guess those are the most important ones to really drive home the fact. These things were stopping in the middle of the street. Uh, at the time, I lived um, in, um, 
in a city. I'm just going to say a city. And uh, it was just like, you know how you pull out of your driveway and you go on the main road to, uh, from your house because the little corner store is there and you got the little you got your little Starbucks down there, your McDonald's, all like that. Well, I was walking down just a regular street like that. When the, In the dream, these things landed in the middle of the street while people was driving so that the cars was forced to stop. The cars was forced to stop and let these things land. And the soldiers got out with the biggest guns that you ever saw in your life. And they began to corral the people, snatching them out of cars, snatching them out of houses. And we was corralled into the local shopping centers. And we was all piled in these rooms on the floor and held at gunpoint. I had that dream about uh, three or four times. All right. All right, the next one is this black stuff that I saw when we was going up in the rapture. When we was going up in the rapture on one side of the sky, it was just a normal sky. On the other side of the sky, it was this black smoky stuff. It looked like smoke. It looked like somebody took ink, poured it in the sky, and it was turning as a funnel, like when you would see a tornado. But it was indeed wispy and black, just like this. Just like this. And entities that looked like this, they was black and they began to come out onto the earth. And go down on the earth at the exact same time. I believe when we go up, this is exactly what's going to happen. These entities are going to take over. The Antichrist will be in full control uh, of the earth when God lifts up his people out of here. But the frightening thing about this the most that really brought tears to me where I began to beg and plead with the Lord is it wasn't the black stuff that came um out of the sky, it was what came out of the earth. When I look back down on the earth, I begin to see mythological creatures and things that they told us was not real. They did not exist. Things that we only saw in movies. So I got you some pictures of some of the things that I saw. The first thing I saw was like these centaur type things. These centaur type things. And this, I got this because it's the most diabolical looking. But... To my understanding, they don't all look like this. There are various ones. So I got you another picture. I think this is the most common one. Um, I saw these things on the earth. I believe that that's why the Bible says, In the last days, men's hearts would fail them for the things that is coming upon the earth. When you begin to see something like this coming towards you, that yeah, that's going to give anybody an instant heart attack. I know it would give me a, a heart attack. When you begin to see this stuff come up out of the earth in your backyard or whatever the case may be or where you're hiding, yeah, that's enough to give you a heart attack and drop dead. Look at this. All the mythological creatures and the beasts that they said did not exist these things did begin to come out of there. I saw something like this. It looked like a dragon, but not like a dragon, like a dinosaur. And I saw when they came out of the earth, they was all huddled up in like a large big pal so that I was able to look down and take them in as I was going up. And you know, they have, they giving you guys Game of Thorns. I never watched it, but I just know that it's about dragons. And a lot of the mythological beings are like dinosaurs. They told us it's all extinct. I saw this stuff come up out the earth. I'm sorry I did it again. Yeah, I saw this stuff come up out the earth. Let me take you some more things that I saw uh, when I looked down. Uh, let me go to the next picture. This werewolves. They said, oh, this is just for movies. It's not real. It's not real. But they was there. And they was on the earth. Uh, yetis, big snow things, big, uh, Bigfoots and stuff like that. They say it's not real. Bigfoot ain't real. Blah, blah, blah. This ain't real. Everything that they told us was not real. These things came up out of the earth and they was 10 times worse than the wispy black smoke things that was coming down out of the sky. All right. The next thing that I saw was Obama as the beast. Um, the angel of the Lord took me down onto an underground cavern. I took this picture because although this thing looks hideous and horrible in the face, it did not look like this. I just got this because this is the closest to the skin texture that I could find for you. Remember I told you it was orange like a pumpkin, but it had this wet, 
latexy, like slimy, like texture to the skin. The body was just like this. And all the underground place where this thing was at Obama as the beach was orangey like this. And was like a, a deep, deep, deep subterranean thing. Because Obama as the beast, he had to be what we know as a titan. Because just one arm alone had to be been the size of a skyscraper. Like the, just think of the biggest skyscraper that you know and make that his arm. That's how big it was. Okay, so the beast, though, was so different about this one. In Obama, the legs were spindly. They were thin like this. And it had some weird looking tailbone thing. And it was so huge that the back was humped over. And it was a thin little thing. The arms were thin. Um, let's say if you took this leg and cut it in half, you would get the gist of the size of the leg and the size of the arms. But although they were thin, they were super, super long. Okay. So you have to go back and check that video out while I was talking about Obama. And I was telling him the prophecies that the Lord gave him. When I saw this, this is a, a, the video of the zombies uh, and the zombie apocalypse that, that was coming on the earth. Obama in that dream was on the news. He was just like this in his casual white shirt like that. And he was explaining that there was a zombie apocalypse on the earth, a zombie virus or blah, 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 blah. And then after I saw him like this, then the Lord took me and I saw him in his true form. Uh a beast. Like, I believe he is the one of the beasts of Revelation. And I'm sorry, that's just what I believe. That's what I was shown. And as the beast, uh, the Lord was telling him, I told him, you can't hurt me. I'm a messenger of the Lord. He just extended his arm out as that big old monster, picked me up, took me around the corner, took me into what looks like a underground um, public bathroom stall, a single stall, and he shape-shifted right in front of me. And this is what he had on. Um, I begin to tell him that the Lord said that there's two of him. And the Lord said, and he smiled. And he said, what else did he say? And I said, the Lord said that the fake you, there is a clone, likes to dress fancy in public. I didn't even know when I Googled this picture to show y'all that this said, it's his trademark look. I had no idea. But in the dream, that's what he was wearing on the TV. And when he shape-shifted back to a man in front of me, this is what he was wearing. Uh, and I was telling him that the Lord said the fake him is going to die during this, uh, this plague, this zombie plague or whatever is going on. The fake him is going to die, but not the actual real him. The actual real him, the Lord said, dresses casual in public. When you see casual Obama, it is the real one. I began to find some pictures, so I started searching for a casual Obama. I I don't keep up with politics or anything like that, so I don't keep up with this man. Uh, but I began to look for, is are, is he out in public casual? And then I found some pictures. Well, yes, he, did he is. Casual Obama is the real one. Fancy Obama is the clone. Clone's gonna die. I believe that the Bible says, and that's how... The people worship the beast who had taken the, the the head wound and lived. I believe that that's how he's going to fake it off. He's going to fake like, oh, I took this major head wound and I live. But really, it'll be the clone dying and the real one will live. The Lord gave me no prophecy on the real one. It was all for the clone. You're going to get in, You're going to get infected. You're going to die. When I told him that. He, shaved, he was already a man. He just went back up on the earth. I knew, I had a sense that he went back up onto the earth. Like he went out the stall and up onto the earth. All right. So that was the end of that. Let me see what's next. Oh, so that's it. I believe that that's it. Uh, I didn't get any more pictures. Uh, if I could think of anything else that God showed me, I will get it to you guys and try to show you. I try to show you because it's easy to show than it is explain. I am not the best explainer. I try my best to explain and try to give you as much detail as I can. But sometimes I stumble over my words. So I just wanted to show you exactly what I was seeing in these dreams and in these visions. I also saw in my dream that the, the Vatican is going to be destroyed. I saw the backside on the left was broken in half, uh, almost as if somebody took a very large sword, 
chopped its sword, chopped the Vatican into two, and it broke, and it was destroyed. The front side looked completely normal, but the left back side, I don't know what's on that part of the Vatican inside of it, but the Lord's going to destroy it. And when I saw that the Vatican was broken in the vision, all I could think of was a, a massive earthquake, a massive earthquake that came and hit Rome and split that building into two pieces as if an angel of the Lord took a massive sword and chopped it down the back of it. I did see the Vatican is going to be destroyed. I saw uh, a face of a wall of world leaders and I saw Dr. Fauci's face was morphing into God. And I guess that God was trying to tell me that Dr. Fauci was playing God. And uh, after the Dr. Fauci face uh, morphed into God, then that's when I saw the vision of the Vatican being destroyed. I don't know what it means. God didn't give me context. And you know what? I didn't even ask. Because some of this stuff is just a lot on the soul. I know a lot of people are like, I want to have a dream. I want I want to see something. But sometimes you don't. Because sometimes you see this stuff. I've seen this stuff. And I just bawl like a baby. It's no relief from it. And you know, when, when I was praying for the people, Lord, help them. They didn't know. They didn't know. You know, God is feeling like they didn't have to know. Because I told you. I told you. I let everybody choose. Everybody had a choice. So that's the end of the video. I hope that it was able to bless you in some type of way. God loves you. And of course, you know, I love you too. Forgive everybody. Hold no grudges. Let it go. Things in your past, let it go. It's not worth staying up on this earth for. Just let that stuff go, y'all. Let it, It's not worth it. I know people offend us all days. Uh, but vengeance is the Lord's. He'll repay. Let it go. I love you. Be blessed. Bye-bye.